Hey guys, welcome to the first red light therapy news video of 2024. We have a lot to cover today. There are a ton of new products and some awesome articles to share. So let's get straight into it. Actually, before we get straight into it, I do need to mention the new background I have here for this video. As you can see, there are a lot of panels behind me, a lot of red light therapy panels. Hang around to the end of the video because I do have some quite cool news to share on that front. So more on that later. The other thing I'll mention, I am affiliated with a lot of red light therapy companies. That means I have discount codes and discount links. All of them are below. Use them if you want to save some money. It does give me a commission, but if you don't want to support me, that's cool. You don't have to use them. Okay, so first up, let's look at products. And there are actually a ton of new panels to hit the market. I don't know if it's a seasonal thing or it's just coincidence, but there are some exciting new panels and in turn new features hitting the market. First up, we have the Platinum LED with their Biomax range. This is their new eighth generation panel. They're now incorporating seven wavelengths. They've added 10, 60 nanometer wavelength. Talk more about this later in the video, so hang around for that. Plus you're getting more power output in the 900 range. It's actually the highest powered panel I've ever tested. I've done a full review on it, so you can check that out. Otherwise, links are down below. Late in 2023, Block Blue Light released their new 4.0, their fourth generation panel range. I have tested their mega panel. The specs are up in the Light Therapy Insider shopping tool, and I will have my review coming out on that panel soon. Their new panel has a touch screen. They've changed their wavelength ratios, and there's a heap of power in there as well. Mito Light, the European company. I should note Mito Light is from the Czech Republic. They are different to Mito Red Light, who are based in Arizona, USA. Uh, Mito Red Light, the American company, has been around for some time. Mito Light, relatively new. I am using some of their new 4.0 fourth gen panels. They got released late in 2023 as well. Really cool panel. I think it's five wavelengths. They've got a touchscreen in there as well. Uh, their Mito Hacker is really great 400 odd leds it's quite a wide panel i'm working on my review on that at the moment so that will be out soon so if you're based in the eu definitely check out my delight huga also released their new ultra series late in 2023 again my review on that will come out soon just had so many new products hitting it's hard to test them all at once and i want to make sure i do test them properly so that does mean you're going to see a lot of reviews coming out in the coming weeks i talked about mito red light before the american company they are actually working on a new panel. I don't have any details to share with you yet, but I'm told it's coming out soon. As soon as I know more, I'll be putting out a post in our Facebook group. And of course, I'll be doing a video here as well. And then finally, we have Royo Therapy. Now, this is an Australian, New Zealand company, but they're expanding worldwide. They're setting up warehouses in America, uh, France, I believe, UK. Uh, and of course, they have a warehouse in Australia and New Zealand. And I'm told they're going to have a new panel range coming out any day now. And that'll be the first to know about it. So as soon as I do know about it, again, you're going to see all the details over at Facebook or here on my YouTube channel. They've also told me that their new panel is going to have some features that are completely new to the red light therapy space. I reckon it's going to be a total game changer for both newcomers and advanced users. So really, really excited to see what they're coming up with. All right, now it's time to look at new blog posts over the last few weeks. So Platinum LED have just released a blog looking at the benefits of different wavelengths outside your standard 660 and 850 nanometer range. It's interesting because we know that all sorts of wavelengths are beneficial for our health. And we are starting to see more and more companies including light outside of the typical red and near-infrared range. They've even put up an article on green light therapy. I don't know if this is a hint or a suggestion that their next 8th, ninth gen panel will have green light in it. I don't know, but still it's an interesting read. Red Light Rising have published a lot of new blog articles. One of them is on how someone used red light therapy to help them with their Hashimoto's disease. Links are all down below. Rouge have put out a deep dive article on red light therapy for Vitaligo. This is a really rare skin disease, and I have no idea if I said that right. I hope I did. Anyway, if this is something you want to know more about, check out the article below. Now we have Neuronic. They've put out an article looking at red light therapy or photobiomodulation for ADHD. Also, they're looking for people to enroll in their clinical trial. If you're aged between 60 and 75 and have a mild cognitive impairment, then yeah, check out their website because it could be a neat study to be involved in. Finally, we have Vlight who are incorporating AI technology into the use of photobiomodulation. I think this is really fascinating because personally, I'm learning a lot about photobiomodulation 
and the impact it has on the brain, but also how we can measure brain activity through QEEG scans. And this is what VLAID are doing. They're looking at real-time feedback, real-time brain monitoring, and then using this feedback to change the output of their devices to create different effects on the brain. It's really, really neat stuff, and I'm excited to see where they go with this. Hey, I just want to do a quick shout out. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button below. I have a ton of content planned for 2024. Something bigger than a review, which I'll share at the end of this video. Uh, interviews, I'm doing a lot of travel. There is a massive red light therapy event happening in the UK this year, which I'm going to be attending. There's going to be a lot of great content on this channel. So again, hit the subscribe button. If you're enjoying this video, hit the like button. If you want to get some great deals and discounts and support this channel, then yeah, be sure to use the discount codes below as well. Finally, be sure to jump in our Facebook group because that is an active, very growing community that myself and my team are heavily involved in. Okay, finally, I have three articles that have recently gone live over at lighttherapyinsiders.com. First up is an article on 1060 nanometer near-infrared light, but decided to take a good hard look at this wavelength as the new Biomax panels are now incorporating 1060 nanometers. And I can tell you now, it does look very promising. So if you're considering a Biomax panel or wanna know what all the hype is about, go check that article out. But also released an article on distance, the distance you should be using your red light therapy panels, different benefits, different reasons for changing the distance. It's actually an interesting read. Links are all below. And finally, there's an article over there looking at red light therapy and sleep. This month's science article is titled Male Facial Rejuvenation Using a Combination of 633, 830, and 1072 nanometer LED face mask. So pretty much participants in the study used a face mask putting out these three wavelengths. The study measured patient satisfaction at the end of the testing period, but also a computer analysis of skin rejuvenation. It was a six-week trial, and overall the results were quite promising. The researchers stated that the participants had overall favorable results, improvements in all individual categories, and were satisfied with treatment. Digital analysis demonstrated favorable improvements in wrinkles, UV spots, brown spots, pores, and porphyrins. These results support the use of red light and near infrared light to treat male skin. The advantages of a face mask include its safety, efficacy, convenience, home-based use, minimal associated downtime, simple operation, and obviously great results as seen after six months. To be honest, this result doesn't surprise me as we have looked at the research around red light therapy and wrinkles and skin health, and it is very, very promising. I'll put some links to those articles and videos and even user feedback all down below. Also recently, I took a deep dive into a study looking at red light therapy and the impact it had on females skin. And this was quite an in-depth study. I've done a video review on it and I'll be publishing that very soon as well. So be sure to hit the subscribe button to check that out. I still think though, unless you've got a ton of money, buying a panel is actually better value than buying a mask. Though there are some upsides with the mask, I have actually done a video on masks versus panels and there are pros and cons to both. So go check that out when you want. This month's question looks at protective eyewear when using red light therapy devices. Now I'll be straight up, years ago, I never bothered with eyewear protection when using my panels. In fact, I'd read some research showing that red light therapy was beneficial for your eyes, so I thought it didn't matter. But now the panels are so much more powerful than they were three, four years ago. And at the same time, I realized, you know what? I'm not bulletproof. There could be some issues here. I better play it safe. So I am now personally using glasses or goggles when using my red light therapy panel. The other thing is these new panels are so powerful that there could potentially be issues here. Now, fortunately, most panels include protective eyewear. So you don't have to go out and buy anything special. You need to remember that simply closing your eyes won't stop the light getting into the eyeball or even further into the body and into the brain. So you do need special glasses or goggles that are going to block this light, if you want to block it, of course. I say that as we know this science on age-related macular degeneration, which shows how a photobiomodulation or red light therapy can in fact be beneficial for this issue. And I know there's great research on 670 nanometer light for eye health, and there's even an eye health product out there called eyepower.co.uk, uh, and they sell these glasses designed to improve eye health. I'm hoping to do an interview with their inventor soon. But unless I had a very particular issue with my eyes and was doing a very particular treatment protocol for the eyes, I would recommend wearing your glasses or avoiding shining the bright lights onto your eyes. Okay, so what's coming up in the next month on my channel? 
Remember, I do a red light therapy news video every month. So here are the videos I've planned for the next few weeks. The first one is new panel announcements. Once Rodeo or Mitre Red Light come out with information on their new panels, I'll do a quick overview video to share all the key features. So hopefully we have one of those videos out soon. Secondly, I'm putting out a video on my thoughts around dosing, as I know we get a lot of questions around that. My light path LED diesel torch review will be up soon. Sorry that it's taken so long to get this one out, but it is gonna be worth the wait. And I have a great video looking at all the different options when it comes to red light therapy products for travel. I do a lot of travel and I also have a lot of red light therapy devices. So I've taken the time to put together what I think is a really comprehensive video. Finally though, the start of the video i talked about all of these panels behind me now if you've been following my stuff for a while you will know that every year or two i do a really detailed comparison series where i take all the best red light therapy panels and i compare them over a bunch of metrics to determine the winner and that's exactly what i'm doing at the moment i have 17 panels set up behind me i'm taking them through a ton of tests i'm doing quite an in-depth scoring analysis here and uh all of this is going to be published here on my channel in the next month or two, but I'm aiming for a February launch. It's going to be awesome. I've decided that this year I'm going to do two different versions. The main summary video, which will be about 40 to 50 minutes long. It'll be detailed, but then I'm going to do an extended cut with commentary version, which could be an hour and a half, maybe even longer. And that's going to go really deep into everything. So if you are hanging out to get a new red light therapy panel, then you're going to want to see this video. And I should mention that it's going to include all the latest panels. Finally, I know we've got a lot looking ahead, but if you look back over the last few weeks, I know it's been a busy time of the year. I hope you all had a great Christmas and a great new year, by the way. But if you weren't on YouTube much, here are three videos over the last few weeks that I highly recommend checking out. This one is the Biomax 900 8th gen review. This is only a week or two old. Check that out if you haven't already. The second one is my red light therapy through bone penetration video. This is a really cool video. It was fun to film and shared some interesting insights. And finally, the third one you can see by clicking up here. This is my 2023 end of year wrap up video. In this video, I share five of my most exciting red light therapy products from 2023. I bet you can't guess what they are. 